It's Jeffrey Epstein's private island in the Caribbean, a place seemingly befitting any self-proclaimed billionaire, but in this case, one who was also a convicted sex offender, facing fresh sex crime charges when he apparently killed himself early Saturday in a jail cell in New York. Jeffrey Epstein is accused of trafficking underage girls. Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, we are out in front of Epstein's mansion on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Jeffrey Epstein. In, in the Jeffrey Epstein case. It's Jeffrey Epstein. Accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein is dead. Officials say the disgraced financier died by suicide, taking his own life while awaiting trial in a New York City jail cell. <laughs> And Leslie Wexner, uh, the retail mogul behind Victoria's Secret, has gotten kind of caught up in this whole uh, debacle. How how was he involved here, Leslie Wexner? So on one hand, he's not involved in this issue at all. But on the other hand, he does have very close ties to Jeff Epstein, former CFO of The Limited, which is a precursor company to the L brand, saying that the relationship was not on par. Or at least Mr. Wexner gave him this really expensive townhouse here. Yeah. So there was a transfer of the townhouse. It's very blurry if you for look zero. at how that happened. For yeah. zero, and then there was payment. It's, you know, it's unclear the money trail. And then also, don't forget, he also transferred the jet over, yeah. a Boeing 727. But over the past few months, L Brand founder Les Wexner's accomplishments have been mere footnotes as we continue to learn more about his connection with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. About the relationship between Les Wexner and the disgraced finance, financial manager Jeffrey Epstein. Now, according to the L Brand CEO, Epstein misappropriated millions of dollars from him and his foundation. Now, this letter from Wexner digs even deeper into that relationship. The letter directed to the Wexner Foundation community acknowledges that in the early 1990s, Epstein became a trustee of the foundation. Several years later, as it was agreed upon that Epstein would step away from managing the L brand CEO's finances, Wexner states, and I quote, we discovered that he had misappropriated vast sums of money. It's no secret that former President Bill Clinton had a friendly relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Previous accounts stated Clinton flew with Epstein on his private jet 11 times. A jet accuser say was equipped for sex with underage victims and was used to travel to Epstein's private island, nicknamed Orgy Island. Newly obtained documents show Clinton actually took at least 26 flights on Epstein's private jet to spots around the globe, though apparently not after Epstein's plea deal and jail time. On at least five occasions that they did travel together, Secret Service did not accompany Clinton. You don't just dismiss Secret Service. Now Jeffrey Epstein's closest associate is sitting in a cell in this medium security county jail in New Hampshire. The 58-year-old faces four charges in connection with transporting a minor for criminal sexual activity. Maxwell has long denied any involvement with Epstein's alleged crimes. Overnight, prosecutors requested a hearing on Friday, telling the judge she's expected to be transferred to New York early this week. The question many are asking, will Maxwell reveal any secrets about others in Epstein's circle? Prince Andrew's attempt to explain his friendship with accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein backfiring. You've been on his private plane? Yes. You've been to stay on his private island? Yes. You've stayed at his home in Palm Beach? Yes. The Duke of York generating a new wave of questions in what has become a sea of speculation surrounding his ties to Epstein. Prince Andrew denied he ever saw his former friend with underage girls in a pointed and detailed interview with the BBC. Do I regret the fact that, that, that he has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming Yes. I'm becoming. He was a sex offender. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being polite. I mean, in the sense that he was a sex offender. Queen Elizabeth's son, who is eighth in line to the throne, was specifically asked about his 2010 visit to Epstein's Manhattan mansion after the financier pleaded guilty to soliciting minors for prostitution. Now, I went there with the sole purpose of saying to him that because he had been convicted, it was inappropriate for us to be seen together. Despite ending their friendship, Prince Andrew admitted he stayed with Epstein for four days. We're staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. 